Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Do we need anything else? <laughs> it's eerily quiet, isn't it? When I don't talk about the character I'm selecting. I pre-selected the Marine. Ha ha ha. Pray I don't pre-select the other characters. No, I just, I just thought, you know what? We haven't played as a Marine lately, I feel. Played as the pilot recently. The robot as well. Paradox. I need to, or I would like to play as more Paradox and Gunslinger, but I, I also want to finish buying the items from the shops, which does require me to have more hegemony credits, so I don't want to spend the credits to play the characters. It is, I don't know, it's a little weird that you got to pay for the character in order to play it. But once we unlock everything, and we are almost there, by the way, once we unlock everything, we are essentially never going to need hegemony credits ever again, and then paying for a character doesn't really matter that much. You know, you do get, you get a lot of money in a run. You get like 40 hegemony credits in a run. We can afford to spend six of that per run playing as the Paradox. It only matters, and admittedly it does matter in cer certain situations, it only matters when you're not dying on the first floor. Yeah, Cryhard has it about correct, but you don't literally earn more than you spend, because if you die early, you definitely don't get your money back. So as long as you're making it through like the first two bosses, you're you're making profit on the hegemony credits. I should also though not feel bad about playing as the paradox when I start, because playing as the paradox is just a fun way of playing. Random equipment, random uh random gun, random passive. How expensive are you? You're not gonna tell me, okay. I said your name and you. You're on a deathless run, mate, says Cryhard. What? <laughs> I guess, uh, I see. You're saying not you, as in everyone, always makes more credits than you spend. You, you're saying, because I'm on a deathless run, I'm always going to be making more credits than I spend, otherwise I have other problems. You know what? I didn't think about it in that context, but that's also fair. I still don't want to spend six on a character, though, until I unlock, you know, platinum bullets, maybe, but we'll see. Camel B12, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Just in time for a gungeon run. Yeah, uh, I started the stream an hour and a half late. You're just in time. I only have one gun. We need a new weapon. Unfortunately, I have no way of getting a weapon right now if I want to do the oubliette. So we're gonna we're gonna fight Gatling Gull. We're gonna get a gun. We might do the Sinergrace chest. It really depends on what we get out of this fight, though. Like if we get a key, it's easy. If we don't get a key, I'm gonna have to buy the key. I don't know, it might be worth more to get the Sinner Grace chest, but it really would depend on the weapon. Like if we, if somehow the game gives us a Gemini rifle, I guess it is a possibility. It's probably worth the synergy because then you can pick up, um, you know, the good form of that gun. You know, if we get uh, Vulcan Cannon, it's probably it probably doesn't matter if we get a Synergy for it. If we get the Tangler, it probably doesn't matter. Quad Laser probably doesn't matter. Do we even have Quad Laser unlocked? I don't think I've ever seen the gun in the, in the, the game yet. I now know that we have the um, Tiger Gun unlocked, because we had it on the last run, I never even shot it once, but, you know, there's a, there's a lot that we, we don't have. I'm not here to tell you what to do, just poke fun and have a good time. I mean, that's always what I prefer from people, but also you should totally tell me what to do, and then I'll tell you no. <laughs> Maybe you like being rejected in that fashion. Maybe you like being told what to do. Um, we are gonna just buy the key. This is not a good enough synergy gun, although getting the mass shotgun would be very lovely. There's no guarantee of that. 
I think we're just gonna blow open some chests and go to the oubliette on this one. You never know, could be a lucky junkin in our future. I was gonna say ju a gungeon in our future. Kind of have the same timbre to them, junkin, gungeon. Could get a junkin in our future. This is the perfect run for it. It seems like lately, whenever we get junkin, it's like, oh, hey, uh, A key 47, Shelaton key, 18 key drops, Argon, blowing up rainbow chest Sag. It wasn't rainbow, was it? Now you've got me, uh, You've got me paranoid. <laughs> Say it ain't so. You know, I I think could be here. No. Could be adjacent to this room. Unlikely. Could be maybe in this room. Could be, no, it's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there, not gonna be there. So it's either in, well, it could be there, it's not. It could be up. It could be to the right of this room. There it is. Man, that took a while. All right, let's go. All right, sorry for that delay. I was extremely rudely interrupted with a delivery of like freaking food. It, was, it, was, it, it looks delicious. Unfortunately, I can't eat it because I have to finish this run. <laughs> Uh, it's my uh, my friend. Just got some food, ordered something. I said, hey, let me know when you order. I'll order something as well. It has now arrived. It's making my, my mouth water. Delicious ribeye steak, a slice of pepperoni pizza, some pork fried rice and orange chicken. Barbecue wings and calzones. It's all that you can imagine and more. What are your favorite delivery foods? I have a couple of favorites. Pizza is definitely like up there. It might even be the best because there's, it's so hard to go wrong with pizza. You definitely can and I've had bad pizza, but it's hard to go wrong. Like any pizza will satisfy me as long as it's edible. Chicken, like if you're going for like a, a you know a Chinese place, it, it depends. I don't know about you, but whenever I order out Chinese, it always arrives in these like sealed containers and everything kind of gets over steamed a little bit. You don't have that problem with pizza. It's a cardboard box. You know, the, the, the steam from the cooked pizza, it's not gonna overcook it. It's just gonna get absorbed by the box. That's why the paper box is so so nice. The plastic containers that, you know, uh, uh, Chinese food comes in, it kind of keeps in the heat a little bit, which is unfortunate. I mean, you want it to be warm, but you don't want it to be steaming in its own juices as it arrives. You don't really have that problem really with like a, a, a pork fried rice dish or anything like that because the rice will kind of keep the, the moisture in a little bit. But you also can't order anything crispy. Like it's not like you can order a um, really like a sesame beef or anything like that because a, a, like a crispy exterior is really prominent for the meal, for the, for the item, for the food, for the beef. You don't want it to be uncrispy because it was delivered and it kind of got a little bit soggy. No, no, no. Should probably not be using exclusively this gun, but like, I like using the guns in the game. I'd rather use them than my starting pistol and it makes it go faster, so why not? 
Seagus Jr. says pancakes and breakfast meat from Denny's or similar restaurants. You would, you would, you would get delivery of pancakes? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? 68 says, I love a good biryani and these Korean pancake pizzas called okonoma ono Okonomaki. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm very lazy, he says. You're very lazy, you're also kind of like missing out a little bit. It's probably better though to have pancakes delivered than waffles. Waffles do need a bit of a crispiness to them, and they probably wouldn't be able to keep that crispiness while being delivered. But a waffle, a waffle is kind of meant to be a little bit more, I'm not gonna say soggy, but like, it's not crispy, it's just the, you know, it's just the cooked batter. That's why I prefer a waffle. I love that, like, crispy exterior. I want to I want to be able to, to run the, the fork over the waffle and go... Beautiful. Music to my ears and my taste buds. Red Bearskin, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? normally roll mail gun as a room clearer, but I don't know, I just, I don't really want to use my starter pistol. So sure, I will deliver some packages. I always get them from a Korean restaurant. It's a 68. Sounds delicious. I don't know exactly what it is. There's not a lot of like, uh, uh, Korean or Chinese food around here, or Japanese food or anything like that. There's like a couple of places and it's very like Americanized Chinese food basically. Sounds delicious though. All right, it's boss time. And hey, we have a room clearing gun specifically designed for room clearing. It's the camera. I know what I'm using next floor. It's the camera. I guess the reason why I like using the mailbox for the bosses is because it's got a bit of a wider spread. Bosses tend to be a little bit larger. Sega says waffles are garbage. Pardon? You'd rather have a soggy ass pancake than a delicious crispy waffle? What is the matter with you, Seagus? Yeah, now it's S takes with Seagus. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible take. Don't forget your ammo drop. Eh, you know, whatever. <laughs> if, if we get another active item, I'll use it. If we run out of ammo, I'll use it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use whatever guns we have. We have the camera. A little bit of mailbox ammo left after this fight. Lots of mail everywhere. And the sponge. This would have been a good floor to have the sponge on, just saying. Um, let's see. We could gun munch. We could buy the gamma ray and then gun munch it, but that doesn't seem very helpful. I guess we'll just do the next floor with camera, machine, pistol, non-synergy. Let's do it. I love pancakes, says Seagus. Pancakes are good. I'm gonna, maybe popular, maybe unpopular opinion here. Pancakes, waffles, what you're eating matters less than the syrup you're putting on it. If you've got good syrup, a bad waffle can be made delicious. But if you've got a bad syrup, a good waffle can be made terrible. Don't give me none of that Aunt Jemima's, it's actually just corn syrup. No, I need Vermont maple syrup, please. Dark and rich and robust. Delicious.
You guys are making my diet a lot harder. So 68. <laughs> Sega says, mate, I just use butter. There's nothing wrong with butter on your waffle, but you gotta have something else on it. You can't just have butter. <laughs> You're a your well, I mean, I'm not gonna say the syrup's any, you know, better for you, but like, you gotta have something else than just butter. Butter. You don't gotta. I would. Butter's, you know, good and all, but it, it doesn't provide as much of a flavor as anything else good. Well, really, just a good syrup. Camera is a good enough gun. Just make sure you shoot the whole clip. They all gave me two HP or two money. Yo, this is getting the job done. Never underestimate a good camera, an experienced professional. That is not me. I have like never taken a picture in my life. <laughs> I'm not a big picture guy. I don't like being in pictures. I'll take your picture like if you ask me to, but I'm not pulling out my camera every two seconds saying, hold on, I wanna get a picture of this. It's for the memories. You wanna remember this? Pardon me? I wanna forget every day as soon as I, you know, have my head hit the pillow. I wanna be the guy. Is it a Jim Carrey film? The guy who uh, loses his memory every time he falls asleep and he leaves himself notes to try to hide the fact from others that he has uh, essentially no memory. What is that film? Is it a Jim Carrey? It doesn't sound like a Jim Carrey role, but there's a light physical comedy in there and that's a Jim Carrey-esque thing. It's the Stinger. Highly good. Uh, we have one more key, but we gotta, we gotta look for the Crest Room first. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Memento. I don't think it's either of those. Although it's probably, it's probably an idea that's made its way into several different things. So I'm sure, Clean Slate says Red Silver Artist. That might be it. You know, the, the idea is not new, for sure. Clean Slate Film. 94 American comedy film. It is Dana Carvey. Jim Carrey, Dana Carvey. You can see how I got the two confused. Second, uh, you know, last name both starts with a C, roughly, you know, five to six letters long. First name is very short, one syllable. You know how bad I am with names, so I'm actually kind of proud that I got that close. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Stop, stop taking my picture. For like the first time in a week, we've deposited the crest. <laughs> it might not actually be the first time in a week. Now here's the, the real question, Red Silver Artist. Did you look it up or did you just know? Are you that much of a movie buff? that you're like, ah, of course, Dana Carvey in Clean Slate. Because for most things related to film, I do have to look them up myself. It's another Amoconda. We're gonna be using the Mine cutter. We're just using the mine cutter to kill the turrets, though. 
Although we could use it to really crush Amoconda, but I don't know how easy it is for the uh, Mine Cutter to break segments of the Amoconda. And I'd rather use it for room clearing purposes, so. Beautiful. You know what? You're not gonna eat him. You're dead. I remember it because of the half blind dog that keeps missing everything from one side. I don't remember that, but I will admit a comedic animal. That's a very, that's a Dana Carvey-esque thing, you know? That sounds like him, yeah. It's not an actor that's that's being the comic relief, it's a freaking dog, but that, Dana Carvey works with animals. I think. <laughs> it's joking! I was right! We did it! Also, coin crown and, hey, junk man, would you like some junk? Dun, 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 dun. And we'll buy the key and move on. Beautiful, not this. Yeah. We have another floor to do, and I'm happy to do it. What are we gonna use? Camera, mine cutter, let's go. All right. Excuse me? the heck? Oh, the... It fired a B, so it went... Yeah, it's pl playing the sound effect of the gun firing whenever I shoot a freaking B. Junkin says, see, I can be really good. He's gonna be pretty good on this run. We didn't... We got him a little later than I would like, but all bad chests at this point, we're not... It seems like we're not getting a lot of key drops. We can just give him the chests, you know? He can take the junk, I don't care. Out of ammo. Speaking of out of ammo. If only that was junk that dropped. That could be kind of fun. As you have Sir Junkin, like uh, random bits of uh, of junk can drop instead of something else. Or how about if you just open up a chest, it could be junk. It's like inverse spice. It would be cool if he could level up higher than his maximum level right now. I don't know what that would be. It could just be like raw stats, I guess, but. machine pistol for a while. I don't know why I'm saving the ammo drop. We should really use it, but I guess I'm just kind of holding off for when it's like truly necessary. Currently our weapons are like totally fine. You still need to get eaten by a tarnisher. Ah, good point. That's what we should do. We should get eaten by a bag. Next time I see a bag, I'll make sure to let him eat me. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder though, but that is a... I, I forget what it unlocks. I forget what it unlocks, but I have not been eaten by a bag yet. So whatever it is, we'll get there. New quote, yeah, eaten by a bag. Like I haven't seen that one before. I'm gonna let a bag eat me. Yo, we are now getting enough keys that I wonder if Junkin is actually gonna get his loot. Junkin, I'm sorry, I have three keys. It's a mimic too, I don't, I can't handle this one. I can't do it. I can't get the junk out of it, Junkin. Oh, well. 
I'm not mad because it's good for this floor, but I'm a little upset. But the damage is real good on this floor. I want to say hungry bullets, but I'm not sure. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, hungry bullets to get eaten, and it eats bullets, yeah. So it's probably hungry bullets. Next time I see one, I, the problem is, and it's not much of a problem, it's a me problem, not a you problem, but the problem is I'm going to dodge it, kill it, look at chat, and then be like, oh, right, <laughs> I forgot. Problem is I'm the problem. Okay, well, we can finally put ammo in this again. I'm gonna put it into the camera. It's another mimic. What? Shadow bullets is really good though. I'm sorry, Junkin. Like, I, I, I mean to give you the junk, but we just keep getting mimics. <laughs> oh, dude. Fully automatic. Golden crossbow. Oh my god, I just walked into it. The worst is when they, they don't even have to fight for it. You just give it to them. Go ahead, hit me. I'm just, you know, I'm just a freaking stupid gungeoneer. I don't need this HP. If I die, I'll just go back in time and do it again. Yuck, yuck, yuck. They don't even work for it. Oh, I should have dodged upwards at an angle. It's really, oh, no, it's dumb. It's really good though. That went remarkably well, even though I screwed it up. Hey, C4! Oh. I see. Buckle up. What? Buckle up. Hold on. Gungeon, Gungeon. Guess which word was which. Hold on, I misspelled Gungeon, so it says it thinks I said Gungeon, 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 Gungeon. There you go. <laughs> Con continuously moving with Gungeon held gives the player a yellow glow, increasing the rate of fire. It disappears when you stop moving. Additionally, Gungeon has a chance to refund ammo upon firing. That seems correct. Sometimes it doesn't take ammo. And then when I move, it fires even faster. All right, buckle up. Time to run out of ammo. I mean, that's still good. It's still a good synergy, I'll take it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I just have never, uh, no, I've seen this synergy before. I just always have to look it up because I never remember what the hell it is. But also it's the Gungeon and, oh, we have um, the sponge. So we actually cannot get the Gungeon reload to work properly. But I'm, you know, I'm not, Terribly worried. We can always reload it in the future if we run out of ammo. Like we can just drop the sponge. And especially on this floor, all of the wall sconces create oil when they get broken, so there's infinite ammo everywhere. So, ask me if I'm worried. Oops, sorry, I already answered the question. I'm not, spoilers. Also, I shoot beads, so. Even if I miss, the bees are getting them. I feel like with the Gungeon, 
it's got kind of got the same aspect as the Patriot. It fires so quickly. Right, I can't reload it. It fires so quickly already that it doesn't really need another rate of fire bonus. You're not gonna hit the, or you're gonna hit the damage cap regardless. Speaketh with me in the breach at which hour thou dost have. Speaketh with me in the breach at which hour that thou hast a moment to. Do. <clears throat> People don't talk don't talk like this today. It's it's confusing. Speaketh with me in the breach at which hour thou hast a moment to do so. For now, though. It's like, what are you tell? What are you saying to me, buddy? <laughs> Speaketh with me in the breach, whence which thou dost haveth a moment to do in a moment. Yeah, okay, dog. Hey, come talk to me. Frost giant. Never swap my gun ever again. I need the speed bonus. Guy couldn't have made it even more confusing. <laughs> because with me at a moment of thou time. Surely thou is doth doth is haveth a timest that doth is mayeth speakest with meeth in the breacheth. Yeah, does anybody speak jive? <laughs> Anyone speak medieval? I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish exploring first. We even found any chests? I've got so many keys and, and so much junk I need to avoid picking up now. I don't know, we could pick up some more junk, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping for chest props. What I would love is the, the ring of chest friendships so we can get more of them for free. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to a freaking green chest, magic lamp. And this is the other chest over here, so we will get everything. I don't know, if it's blue, well, because it's gonna be a blue level passive, which can still be pretty good. If it's brown, I will definitely maybe break it. Pianist was right, he just wants to see you in the breach. 68 says, yo, so when you have a moment, I'll be in the breach for a chat. Pretty much, yeah, I mean, roughly. Well, I gotta open it. Sorry, Junkin. Look, the, the keys, they sorted themselves out very quick-like, so we're gonna be picking up some chests for ourselves for a little while here. Sorry, brother. How about, how about this rate of fire? Oh my god. I ran out of ammo. Although the gun does have a chance of uh, not consuming ammo. I, I wonder if that applies when I'm in yellow form or if I'm j just shooting the gun at all times. Because it's not really going through that much ammo. Like, that was incredible. We didn't run out. I did get hit, but what do I care? I was playing around. I was looking at the gun. I was like, hmm, let's experiment with this gun for it a little bit, shall we? You know? We're not really very cursed. We got a lot of money. I don't know what those two things have to do with one another, one another, but sure, give me the, give me the curse. Extra coolness for curse. All right. Well, that was a pretty good floor. Um, I don't know, we could try to, we probably should, you know, regenerate ammo for the next floor. So you know what I'm gonna do? Do a quick little look for ye old lanterns, and then three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six, seven, 
eight, nine, full. There you go, full ammo. <laughs> uh. And now we're fully loaded. Although, you know what? Why don't we just use the mine cutter for a little while? Mine cutter and chamber gun. Probably just mine cutter, actually. Was that money? That was money. We have coin crown. I'm curious, what was that magic? Says Link Five. The magic of getting a uh, full ammo for your gungeon? That's not magic, baby. That's science. Don't thank God. Thank me. Yes, that one. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll explain it. Um, so the Gungeon, it has a unique trait on the weapon where when you reload on Goop, it refills some of its ammo, the missing ammo in the clip. So if I'm missing one bullet in the clip, if I shoot one bullet and then reload over the water, it would reload one bullet. So if you empty your clip, it'll reload 100 shots because that's the amount of ammo in the gungeon between reloads. So what you do is you trigger the reload, swap weapons, interrupts the reload, you can reload again, and then you just keep reloading again and again and again and again and again to get up to maximum ammo again. Ooh, two of them, two pieces. It's a remarkably easy and straightforward way of having infinity ammo in your gungeon. Not the game Gungeon, the gun Gungeon. It's super easy, it's really easy to do. And then you have uh, infinite ammo. I remember the first time I discovered that. I posted about it on Reddit. Yo, I know Gun... Gungeon is infinite ammo and not the way you think it is. Click here to find out more. very useful tip. It is um, a bug, I, I would think. You're exploiting the game a little bit there, but you know, it's a fun weapon to use. Enjoy uh, enjoy using it. Why am I using the mine cutter then? Well, I gotta save it for the next floor. Gotta have, you know, use the mine cutter at some point. It's also a fun gun. Got him. All right, who's left? All right, no reinforcements. Still a good use of the uh, potion of gun friendship. Now what? <laughs> Hungry bullets, unlock. That is the unlock for that one. So you have to get eaten by the bag and then live. I mean, in general, oh, damn teleporting bullet. In general, the bag doesn't really do that much damage, so it's pretty easy to live after getting eaten once, but, you know, achievement unlocked. Next one down. Next. I'm, I'm honestly just surprised I remembered. <laughs> What, what were the Vegas odds on me remembering to uh, get eaten by the, the bag? It couldn't have been good odds, honestly. But I hope I made someone's day. <laughs> Someone rich, rather. Dungeon Eagle, Winchester, camera? I am kind of running out of ammo on these good guns that I've been using. Dun, 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 dun. You could probably get a couple K karma if you post zero deaths to finish gun on the Gungeon subreddit. It says disposable account. Hmm. You think I need those internet points? 
I might. It's the Mega Hand. It's the completely unnecessary but still great Mega Hand. Get equipped with an F. You're an F video game. F plus. Why is this gun really thick? You guys notice that? Like this is a the black line out, you know, that's surrounding this gun is real freaking thick. This is a thick gun. Thick. This is a thick gun double C's. Oh my god. A weird gun. Um, let's not do that anymore. <laughs> I'll buy the chicken flute though. I'll take familiars. That's not a secret room. All right. Um, kill pillars or our Lord and Savior, Wall Monk. Oh, I want him kill pillars actually. Sponge, no need to dodge roll, just keep shooting. Boss is half dead, very good early use out of the stinger here. And you're dead. You full. Dun 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 magic bullets. Magic bullets. Okay, well, you know. If we've got this much HP lying around, I guess we will go get some more money before we leave. I mean, I didn't pick up half of this HP because it's like, ah, who cares? We're not gonna, we're not gonna need it. Turns out we're gonna need it. So, uh, it's a good moment to like, you know, if you gotta really quickly get a glass of water, go do that. Um, I'm gonna be slamming this E key for like the next minute. I don't know, I could eat some of this pizza that's in front of me. It's pretty good. It looks like it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be a little bit, you know, cool by the time I get to it, but we gotta we gotta finish this run first. The old vampire lady is about to be very happy. Except she never seems satisfied. She always seems to want more blood. I don't I don't wanna always give you blood. I want to make you happy, baby. I want to make you happy, baby. Come on, you're sucking me dry here. I guess you can just like keep on sucking. Although we should probably buy a chicken flute. We should probably buy the key. We should probably buy a ammo drop. And I guess we could get the um, the blanks if we really cared. That's vampirism for you. You always need more blood, more than you think you you will. Okay, I'm actually extremely disappointed right now. I I looked under the slice of pizza on my plate and the, the, the slice that's under the slice is freaking Hawaiian. You kidding me? Who the hell orders Hawaiian? Monsters, that's who. Monsters, criminals, and politicians, and lawyers, all of them. They all love Hawaiian. <sighs> kids these days. Sika says nice. Come over here, you can have this one. I'll have the other one. All right, it's Gungeon time. Sorry, <clears throat> it's time to use the weapon called the Gungeon within the gun. Can I not fly? 
No, I have the sponge on this run. Flight was the last run, okay. Think. I really thought I could fly though. Now that I think about it, it was definitely the last run. I thought that was a bullet, that was a t chicken. That was 100% the last run, unfortunately. Now the real problem is now I gotta, you know, remind myself to focus. Oh, careful. We are. Ooh. We've already taken more damage than I would like to take on the entirety of the floor, and it's like the second room. Okay, we gotta we gotta get some HP drops before too long here. I guess the thing about the Gungeon is that it doesn't do as much damage as you think it would, but it's got the capacity to make up for it. The capacity and the high rate of fire to make up for it. Pineapple on pizza is ballin', what do you mean? <laughs> sure, it's ballin' for... freaking weirdos! Please kill him. We can kill him pretty quickly. It took longer than I thought, admittedly. Ooh, and we got a lot of HP out of it. All right, you know what? This one's for you, junk man. Not a rainbow chest, thank God. <laughs> That's always... That's pretty good. That's always the concern. You just don't want it to be a rainbow chest that you break for no reason. Hey, I'm not a weirdo. Sure, that's what weirdos say. Ooh, turkey is real good. I don't know what the ammo regen percentage is like on the Gungeon, but if it's high enough, this isn't, uh, not literally infinite ammo, but mathematically, technically, statistically, nearly infinite ammo. It's gonna help out for sure. I used, like, 10 ammo to kill that guy. I'm, I was just looking at the, uh, the ammo number, it was like, 318, 317, 318, 317, 318, 317, 316, 317, 316, 317. It didn't wanna, it didn't wanna use any ammo. Okay, I used a lot in this room, but I'm also missing a lot of shots. That's, that's gonna, you know, hurt the ammo productiveness here. Let's see what the next chest is, because I might want to open one of them. I don't know. I think we have to get two more. Ooh, let's go. I think we have to get two more junk for the junk man. That's a bad dodge. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to break two chests to make it happen. He's already pretty good. I kind of want to just open it. Demon head. Well, you know, whatever. You're not gonna get uh, gold every chest like we did on the last run. Junk the chests. Be a Chad. I don't really want to junk the chests. I don't. I like having my own items. If I knew it was gonna be a gun, that's different. Because I would I would junk a gun chest. I want the passives, I want the items. This gun seems to have lost a lot of its efficacy the lower it's been on ammo. I got one bullet. I got one bullet. I'm out. 
Oh my god, you aimed. Around the corner. That's a lot of armor. It's actually not considering how many times I've been hit recently. <laughs> we should have like six more armor. I have walked into a lot of bullets. Oh, we have the crutch. That's why the aim is so, you know, this. That's freaking heavy aim. Okay. So the next chest is gonna have a gun. Tell you what. There you go. Now you spin to win, I think. I'll just buy this gun. I'll buy this gun. What was in the, the other shop? Casey and then something else. I don't remember what that something else was, but that's okay. I guess we'll just use the stinger. Hey, how's it going, dragon? There's a Gungeoneer inside of me and I can't get him out. You have a problem with pesky Gungeoneers getting inside of you? And being unable to get them out? Being the dragon in the forge is not easy. People think it's just a matter of uh, shooting your guns and spawning some SMG knives. But those pesky engineers, they're always coming up with new tricks. Oh, come on. One stray bullet. You like the dabbing chicken from the, the chest room? I, I want, was he still there? I wonder if he's still there. <laughs> he's just yawning. He's just tired. He's tired of these. Filthy Gungeoneers coming into his lair. Getting their feathers all over the place. Singing, we will, we will tar you. Yeah, not quite enough. It's got the DPS, but it's gotta have just a slight bit more. You know what, I should have been moving. If I was moving, we could have triggered the, the Gungeon ability. That would have done enough damage to kill it. A little, a little this, a little this, a little that, a little that. You didn't give me the flawless. He's gone. Unfortunately. Yo, we missed uh, an entire direction. It has nothing in it. Also, I'm immune to fire, I forgot. With the Gungeon, you're immune to fire. Well, you know what? There you go, buy those. All right, three HP, six armor. Oh God, don't fall into the pit. Remember, you can't fly. I don't know why I still think I can fly. You cannot fly. I am, in fact, a very, very white guy, but I also cannot fly. The song is wrong. I guess the song doesn't say that white guys can fly. You are, in fact, a fly. You have turned into a fly in the machine. That's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. The Fly. Probably a reason for that. Um, I don't know, Mega Hand? We haven't used Mega Hand in a while. He says, knowing full well that he uses Mega Hand like every other run, it seems, at this point. Mega Hand or Heroin. 
And God, you know how much I love heroin. It's the only thing I need in my life. Just a little bit more heroin. Joe, welcome. What are you still working on on this save, Hunts? Yeah, so... Did we even see any lead maidens on this run? I don't... I don't know, but... At the beginning of this run, we had to fight 20, so... <laughs> We may have seen one or zero. I can't remember. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and have a decent bullet hell, giving us some lead maidens to fight. Last run's bullet hell was terrible. Any room that could spawn a lead maiden didn't. So let's freaking see. I guess, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to do on this run, which we are doing, is getting enough hegemony credits for platinum bullets, although we do need more, because it's 200 credits. We probably only have like 120 after this run. We, I mean, we have 120 literally right now. So we need more H-mon coins. We need more of that sweet microtransaction currency. Good job. I love when you spawn there, because you are just silly. Also, Architraz, welcome. You were here earlier when I wasn't streaming because I was late by a substantial degree. Thank you for being here on time when I wasn't. <laughs> it's ammo. I don't know, Stinger Rockets? Why not? Pew, pew, pew. Love hearing these guys fall into the pit one after another. They are not very good on their feet, are they? The soles of their shoes are just coated in vegetable oil. <laughs> Ah, good point. Thank you for reminding me disposable. We gotta talk to Gunsling King in the breach. Venest v pathest findest ourselfest into us the next breachest. Weest must est est talk est to est the est gunslingiest of the kingiest of the molliest. What does he give you? What's his unlock, you think? I can't remember. Is it even any good? He gives you... I don't know, is there any medieval weapon in the game that kind of rings a bell? I'm trying to think, like... Could he give out... Wood beam? No, we saw that in the shop earlier. It's not that. Which floor is this, six? This is the uh, the sixth proper floor, but on this run, it is the eighth floor that we did, because we did bonus floors. You know me, I love going to my uh, oubliette. The jote oubliette. The oubliette. The something something, hey. Yo, knock it off. Ah, oh, god damn it. I should have dodge rolled. <laughs> I wanted to stay in there. And damn it, I did. That's a good point. It is a French word. So I'm like half right. <laughs> oh, you know, you want to know something that, that I remembered the other day that brought a really big smile to my face? I was just talking with my friend the other day about memes. And I will always smile and laugh whenever I think of the, um, the trollolololo guy, who's not actually the trollolololo guy, he's the lololo guy. Lololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololololol
of internet memery. Ah. Uh, anyways. We are going to use the stinger. He was so happy. He was so happy. We were talking about it too, and I, I guess we don't exactly know what the story was, but I believe it was something to do with like, the guy was not happy with the lyrics, and so he just hung, he, he sorry, he hummed the tune as opposed to actually giving the, the, the song the proper lyrics that it deserves. The, the story is that like, Russia at the time didn't like the lyrics because it was referencing uh, cowboyism or like the West. So they made him change it, but I don't think that's actually true. I don't know, maybe. It was censored. Yeah, I think I think that's the story, but I, I don't think that's actually correct. I think that's just like what people say was correct. But the guy, the guy when they interviewed him, he said he just didn't like him himself. I don't know what's true or not. You know, everyone has everyone has their own damn agenda that they're trying to get across. Don't trust anybody, except for me. You can always trust me. I don't know, t I don't know either, I just heard it. I think they did an interview with him, but I, I haven't watched it myself. But I love that guy. It's a shame that he's dead. <laughs> so I, so I, I don't mean to laugh, it's just, you know, it's just an odd, Odd way to continue the conversation. Shame that he's dead. I'm laughing at myself, really. Well, good. All right, good run. We accomplished something. The Gunsling King would like us a wordist with us. S. We'll go check him out real quick. We could buy microtransaction guns. If we really wanted to, we could go pick it up. I kinda wanna save for platinum bullets, but microtransaction gun is really good. It can act as a lockpick but it's better because it doesn't actually lockpick the chest permanently, like it doesn't break the lock. Hungry bullets. It just um, cracks the chest when you gotta stop shooting at it. So I kinda like it maybe better than, um, you know, the lockpick or other, other things that can open up chests. Well, definitely not like the A key or something, but how many did we get? We had zero lead maidens. All right. Ah, the young slinger. Thou hast brought me much amusement. Alloweth it near, sorry, alloweth it never bet, alloweth it never best beast said. <laughs> I'm not a generous patron. We hath donated this trinket to the acquisitions department on thy behalf. Now moveth along, slinger. The ow, oh dude. The owl is amazing. No wonder we haven't seen it yet. We had to unlock it. So that's a very good unlock. I'm very happy to see it. And you know what? There you go. Micro transaction gun unlock. That run was maidenless. We are maidenless once more. We are in fact without maidens, unfortunately. Um, good run. I don't know who we're gonna play next time. We'll figure it out later for now. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel. Any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.